Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Alex Kid, The Lost Stars. I uh, played an Alex Kid game in the past, and I always want to call him Alex the Kid, kind of like Billy the Kid, I think. Because Alex Kid just sort of feels wrong. I think uh, I think it's actually Alex the Kid. I think it's just been a giant misprint in Sega history for... Wow, that was a terrible demo. Uh, I think Sega just misprinted their own game for the past 40 years or whatever. This game came out in 1986 for the Sega Master System. Or no, sorry, for the arcade, and then 1988 for the Sega Master System. Um, there was a while where... Oh my god, that demo is terrible! Jesus, Sega, take some pride in your work. Um, there was a while where Sega was really trying to make Alex Kidd their mascot. And they were trying to rival Nintendo and Mario with Alex Kidd. But look at this guy. I mean, he's he's barely out of PJs. And he sucks. <laughs> There's no way this kid is taking on uh, Mario. Uh, it wouldn't be until uh, Sega that... Uh, or sorry, it's until Sonic. That Sega had like a real chance of taking on uh, thing of Mario. Anyway, uh, let's hop in here. Find the Miracle Ball. What the heck? I didn't even catch what that said. Okay, well, here's Alex Kidd. You can run and jump. Wait, what? <laughs> that dog is barfing up the word bow one letter at a time. Uh, there's a playing card here. Okay, everything you touch ta deals damage to you. I presume there is a way to attack, but I don't know what that way would be. Normally Mario just jump on people. Did I just lose health for doing nothing? Okay. It's gonna stand here. There we go. Eat that dog. You avoided your terrible barking. Do you slowly... I, I thought I lost health randomly. Oh, look, you can climb on this. I thought I lost health ran... Bro, oh, what the... <laughs> Wait, what was I supposed to jump on there? Alright, this is... Oh, God. Uh, this is a far more basic game than I was expecting. I mean, okay, pro tip, if you want to battle Mario, at least give your character an attack. Like, am I missing a button? And I think I just lost health there. Nothing happened, like... <laughs> you know, people mock uh, Nintendo for being sort of, like, aimed at quote-unquote babies sometimes. But, uh, come on. Come on, what are we seeing here? What are we seeing here with Alex? Alex the Kid. I know it's Alex Kid, but damn it, I'm not calling him that. Um, oh, I think those plus blocks below me you can jump on. And I totally am losing health just by... Oh my god, why didn't he grab back on there? Well, at least we have checkpoints. He's slowly dying. Um, I think this is, you know, Sega getting very metaphysical and nihilistic with us. I think what they're trying to show by the slowly declining health of Alex Kidd here is that we're all slowly dying in this world, and soon the specter of death comes for us all. And they wanted to portray that to small children, obviously. Hey, I have an attack? Oh my god, I have an attack. And there's, like, cars coming to kill me. I made a car sneeze or something like that. There's little birds there. And I I can't even turn. Wait, I can't. You're always aimed forward. I can't turn behind me. I want to get that uh, like scarecrow statue. There we go. Okay, so you can't turn backwards. What a bizarre game. 1986. I guess this technically predates Mario by like a year or so. Is this health? Yeah, thank god. I almost died of old age. Oh, and I don't have my little, uh, puff air thing anymore. Okay, what am I- oh, I'm just gonna take the hit here. I'm like, what am I supposed to do there? Okay, go, Alex! I- this- will this level never end? I didn't realize it was this long. Oh my god! Go! What is happening? Oh, I can't believe I made that jump! Go, go, go! You're about to die! Oh, we're just running! Running. Oh, that was health! Essie was health! Are you kidding me, Alex kid? You screwed me again, you little punk. Oh my god, okay, what? First of all, 
I hate games that offer you the opportunity to continue on level one because that's such a that's such a newbie trap for people who don't understand video games. If you die on level one, you should never continue because you just burn to continue for later in the game. And uh, oh, fuck you, Alex. You just burn to continue for later in the game, and y you know how you continue on level one? You reset the damn game. Oh, there was a scarecrow or something there. Okay, I think you have to move much faster. I, I thought this game was slow and deliberate. But no, you gotta run through this thing like it's Sonic the freaking Hedgehog. And I don't know how to grab... Okay, there you go. I'm gonna say, I don't know how to grab that after you've let go. But it seems to happen at random. Like, there we go. We got it again. Okay. You know, when, when I don't want to grab that thing, I grab it, and when I do want to grab it, nothing happens. Oh, like, what is this S? Oh, that's the, like, wind power. Hey, we just killed a train. Like, why didn't I grab the thing there? I don't know. You know, I gotta st stop trying to figure this game out and just go. Go, go, go! Out of my way, birdies! Oh, God! It does kind of play like a, a basic Sonic the Hedgehog if you do sort of run through it quickly, like I'm doing here. Well, that's something. Maybe, maybe this was like the prototype for the Sonic games. Only with a lot more pits of death. Oh, God. Oh, can't believe I made that jump. So Alex's, like, little wind power is, like, actually pretty useless. There's the SC I got to last time. What is this? What is happening here? Am I supposed to kill this thing, or... Exit. No, I'm not. Okay, we did it. Okay, we have learned a couple things about Alex the Kid. One, do not take your time. Two, Alex is slowly dying of some kind of genetic disorder. He'll be dead in 30 minutes if you don't make it through this game. And, uh... Three, C, we learn that his wind power sucks. Oh, now he's in, like, computer land. Oh, there's <laughs> little hands that are just, like, there to poke you. That is, like, the most feeble enemy attack I've ever seen. Oh, come on. What, what the hell is that? Don't get poked in the bum by the hand poker machine. I don't know why they're poking his bum, but... I said it. I don't know what the hell that thing is. The thing is, you don't have time to, like see what anything really is, because, like, I'm too worried about, uh, dying. Oh, he got puffed in the- oh! I thought that would have killed him, definitely, but I guess not. Actually a little generous there to not kill him. Now, the graphics in this actually do feel, like, pretty solid, I will say. Like, for the Sega- I always thought that the Sega Master System and the NES were kind of on par, but this actually looks like Pretty advanced. I, like, I hesitate to say. Maybe I'm misremembering. But doesn't this look... Oh, wait, what? Why didn't he grab that? I just assumed a swinging rope, he would he would grab all over that. Okay, there we go. Anyway, I hesitate to fully make this claim, but it looks a little more advanced than your typical NES game. So I wonder if the Sega Master System was actually capable. Oh, you bastard! of more, uh, more advanced graphics than the NES ever was. I don't know if it was or not, but now, like, I'm kind of curious. Like, I wouldn't say this looks like Sega Genesis, but I'll be honest, I- so... the way I looked up to play this game today- oh! Bastard. <laughs> this is Gaming J's, uh, curse-laden, uh, let's play of, uh... A lighthearted game, Alex Kid. Anyway, when I was looking this game up to play it, uh, I saw like a video of it, and I was like, "Oh, that looks like fun. I guess I'll play that." Um, what the hell? And I actually thought it was a Sega Genesis game from the way it looked. Um, it kind of looked like a one of the early Sega Genesis games that wasn't like for a Sega Genesis game. I think this looks sort of subpar, but for a Master System game, it looks up par or above par. I don't know what the, the proper uh, phrase is. But, oh look, we're about to die. Give me that SC. Oh, more SC, I'll take it. 
Um, yeah, so this is somewhere between like an NES and a Sega Genesis game, I would say. Look, there's the exit. Screw. Don't worry about getting hit in this game. Because literally if you stand still so that you don't take a hit, you'll lose health by standing still. So you might as well just F and run through the whole level, take as many hits as you want. That's how you pass this game. Oh man. I am missing Alex's giant fist. One thing, if you go back, Alex Kid in Miracle World is like the classic Alex Kid game. I think it was sort of encoded on the ROMs of uh, early Sega Master System so that if you booted the system up without a game in it, you would just start playing Alex Kid. So it's like a, almost like a pack-in game, but you didn't even physically get the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Happening here. Um, so I definitely remember playing Alex Kid in Miracle What? Wait. What the hell is happening here? A nude man is dropping skulls out of his butt. What? <laughs> okay, I totally lost my train of thought. Uh, oh my god, there's another nude guy. Um, I guess I was saying Alex Kidd in Miracle Worlds. I definitely had played before, and in that one, you had like a giant fist and you could fist enemies. They didn't have any nude guys shaking their butts at you, so you couldn't fist any butts. But you could fist other enemies, and... Um... The fisting was rather iconic. The fisting. Punching! Oh god, my mind is just all over the place with this game right now. Wait, wait, what happened there? I just, like, fell into a hole? Wait, what? Okay. That is so weird! Ah! Anyway, my- sorry, my train of thought is all over the place on this one here. Ugh. Grab the thing, you little punk. Um, suffice to say, Alex had different attacks in the, uh... in the original Master System version. He also had, like, a motorcycle that he ran- uh, rode around on, so that was something. Um, and I definitely remember the motorcycle, and he- when he fought bosses, he did rock, paper, scissors. Um, but yeah, he had a fist, and he could, like, punch through blocks and stuff. And that was, in my mind, his iconic attack. I don't know what this, like, wind power is. Feels rather lame. Feels like there's no consistency between Alex Kidd games. I don't know, maybe someone who's played more Alex Kidd games can weigh in. But I know in this one, you're... Oh, look, he's underground, or underwater. It's kind of cool. Um, in this one, he's trying to, like, collect all the Zodiac signs or something. So I think there's... 12 levels, and people are throwing literally poison beer bottles into the water to try and kill this kid. He's so unpopular that when he goes swimming, people whip beer bottles at him full of poison just to try to kill him. <laughs> I will say one thing that is, uh, it does feel appropriate is the fact that he is wearing scuba gear to go swimming. Because Mario always just wings it. And Sonic... Sonic goes in with the worst plan of all, because at least Mario can hold his breath. Mario's always okay, no matter how long he's underwater. Sonic is, like, just banking on uh, underground pockets of air because he can't hold his breath long enough. And it frequently backfires to the point where he, like, drowns himself, so... Alex, kid... You're... you're an idiot. But... In some ways, you're a very well-prepared idiot. Oh, God. Okay, I don't know how we're supposed to get past that. I've given up trying to not take hits because I've realized, like, it's better to just take a hit and keep going. What kills you in this game is inactivity, like, not moving. Again, I think it's a metaphor. I think Sega's trying to tell us something. Maybe this is their subtle way of being like, If you don't stop playing video games and go to the gym, you're gonna die, you little punks! Like, really, this is the most... The, the biggest health campaign that Japan ever saw, and it came from Sega. Sega trying to convince people through subtle metaphors that their time was... was near. Oh, you bastard! I knew he was gonna shoot, and I was, like, trying to avoid it. I bet you were right near the end of the level. Oh, give me that sweet health. We always just have enough health to barely get to the next point. Go, go, go! Avoid the electric eels! Ugh. Okay, this is gonna be a hit. I knew that. Oh! 
The exit's right there. Don't you dare kill me, guys. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, man. By the skin of our teeth. I think in the other Alex Kid game, you could go to stores and buy things. Like, honestly, this one feels less advanced than the other Alex Kid games. Now, now I'm wondering if this, if the Alex Kid game, uh, Alex Kid in Miracle World, I'm wondering if that's a sequel to this. I just assumed this was a sequel. But maybe it goes the other way around. I don't know what the point of collecting the J's are, but my name is J, so I feel like it's a sign. I don't know what the hell that thing was in the sky. Um, oh, that's fun. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. I almost just wish these levels had a little bit more interesting design to them. Because there's, like, interesting parts. Like, there's sort of bouncy rocks and stuff. Um, like... Oh! What the... Like, this is actually rather interesting. Um... But the problem is I just feel like I can't get comfortable in the level because I'm gonna die because... Time is constantly running out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, health. We definitely need to go back for that. Kill that. Oh, come on. What the hell was that? Those things aren't even in sync. I don't know why I assume they would be. I guess another franchise this reminds me of, oddly enough, is like Bonk. I think Bonk is a better game than this. But it reminds me of. Oh, I can fly! Go! Look, he's wiggling his bum. What is it with this game and bombs, son of a... Of course that was going to happen. The thing you have to remember about Alex Kidd is if you don't do the thing it wants you to do instantly, it's going to kill you or drain your health. That's how the game works, man. Oh, right into the mouth of the dragon. No thanks. It's just a dragon or a, a dinosaur's head randomly hanging out there and the, he looked drunk or something. Or depressed, at least. At the very least, that's a that's a dinosaur who's going through hard times, man. Oh, wait, what the hell happened there? That was weird. I, like, teleported back up the hill. Whatever, we passed the level. It gives you full health at the end of every level, so it's like there's an absolutely no incentive to, like, go through with, with health. I guess you get bonuses. I don't know. I honestly now think this is a predecessor to the other Alex kid. So when we're done playing this, I have to look it up to see. I'm so curious. What? Where are we now? Are we in like Toothland? You're like inside a mouth. Oh God. Oh God, Alex. Let's get the health. Those look like, uh, wrecking balls, but they could be, like, uvulas or something. They're not uvulas. Isn't that a part of the female anatomy? Oh. Like, what, what, the thing at the back of your throat. You guys know what I'm talking about. I hope. I wonder if that nude butt man will ever make a second appearance or if we're done with them. The developers are like, well, we don't want to overuse them. We'll just use them in one level. Sort of tease that nude butt man. I mean, I guess we haven't seen too many repeating enemies. Whoa! God, what's happening here? Oh my god. Oh, that was a little difficult. You know, sometimes in the old video games, when there's a lot of stuff on the screen, the game slows down. And, like, it, it is a glitch. Like, the game was never meant to slow down like that, because the old systems can't handle it. But I actually kind of feel like it's a little bit of a feature. You know, it's one of those things, like, is it a bug or a feature? Because when a lot of stuff is on the screen, usually it means, like, shit's going down. And it actually does help to have the action slow down a bit and give you a bit more time to react. And I've often wondered, I mean, I know that uh, bullet time is inspired by, like, the John Woo movies, which inspired The Matrix, which coined the term bullet time. But I still kind of wonder if, like, some of that came from, like, people playing video games, you know? And just, like sort of... Oh. Do I have to get through this part without taking a hit? Oh my god, no! Okay. Oh, come on! This is such a tease! Oh my god, that is hard. 
Anyway, uh, NES slowdown maybe inspired bullet time. I'd like to believe so. Even if it didn't, though, I feel like eventually people would have tapped into the idea that this is kind of an interesting mechanic. It'd be kind of cool if games slow down when there's too much stuff on the screen. We're at Ziggurat. I don't know if that's good or not. Whoa, we jump really high in this level. Well, it'll make it easy to just jump over the whole level and not actually have to do it. Ugh, except for that part. What is with heads barfing out letters that spell the sound they're making? He's... Wow! Oh god, get out of here. There's an art to playing a game where you're jumping off the screen and you have no idea where you are. I suspected that would bounce me or something. There's these random green space guys trying to kill you. I have no idea who the antagonist of this game is. It could be literally anyone. I mean, it's not like I necessarily knew who it was in, like, Mario 1 the first time I played, either. The first enemy you encounter is, like, a little brown potato who wants to kill you by walking at you very angrily. And then you see some turtles and stuff, and it's like, who's the bad guy? <laughs> you know, who knows? I see. Oh. Oh. Do I want to go on that? I think I do. Okay. Oh god. Hard to do. Oh my god, I almost died right there. Oh wait, those hurt you? You bastards. You bastards have thought of everything and nothing at the same time. Oh, there's fire going in and out. Non-animated flames. <laughs> good, good. Why can't you face left, is what I wonder. Oh my god, it's the fry guy from uh, Mario 2. Let's get in that ziggurat before we all get killed. The ziggurat is the Statue of Liberty. In space, for some reason, I don't know. Does it have to make sense? It's Alex Kidd, man. Did we beat the game? I'm so confused. Okay, there are the astrological signs that we saved. Aren't there 12 astrological signs? Six is enough. I guess he figured six and done. He's like, I'm only half committed to this, uh, this thing. Oh no, there's six more to go. Alright. Let's do it. Ow. Instantly. Wait, we just play the same levels over again? It's like a Mario thing where now the levels are harder. So far they feel the same, but I feel like I'm, like, hardened with experience. Six levels of this, I know what to expect in Alex Kid. I don't need that stupid pole. The hindrance, man, just slows you down. Ah! I was trying to shoot it with my wind power. Didn't work. Hey, I feel like we're doing a lot better. We're at least getting through this level faster. Like, what is there to bother to pick up in any of these levels? Spending time trying to find things just uh, ends up hurting you. Oh, you like that? Y'all like that? I got a good feel for his jumping now, so I can pretty much do anything. Oh! I've been injured! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright, maybe I'm not as good at this game as I thought. Anyway, Alex Kid. He, the Lost Stars. Okay, hold on. Okay, there's no pause. Uh, I gotta go look this up. Okay, you were never gonna believe it, but this is the sequel to Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Confused. I don't know. It's interesting because, like, if you just look at the graphics, you would look at this game and you'd be like, oh, yeah, that totally looks more advanced than, uh, than Alex Kidd. Totally looks more advanced. But if you actually sat down to play it, you'd be like, 
what? <laughs> you know, like, like I was today. Um, I guess we should get through this one level here just to see, but like, if we're just doing the same six levels over again, I'll probably just call it. But I'm just, you know, the, the completionist in me, I guess, is a little curious. But I don't really feel like- I, I don't feel like the first six levels were fun enough that I want to do them again. Even if there is some sort of magical ending at the end. Or do I? Oh god. See, this is the point where I talk myself into playing more bad video games. <laughs> I'm like, I could! Okay, let's pass this level and then I'll decide how I feel about it at that point. It'll depend on how well this goes. I can't believe I died at the very end of this level. I just got sloppy and lazy. Two worst things to get when you're playing video games or performing heart surgery. But I feel like we're going, to, we're doing aces here, man. We're just like, as I say that, of course I get hit. I was going to say, we're just sort of weaving in and out between all the enemies. Very well. Ugh. Of course they would throw a musical note right at the point where you're obligated to jump. Hey, we jumped over him. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's do another level or two. I don't know, whatever. What do I have to do today? <laughs> Just play more games. But yeah, I cannot believe this is a sequel. Like, graphically, I, it does look like a sequel. Gameplay-wise, it feels like a colossal step backwards. I'm just... So... Confused. And I feel like, largely, like, this is why Alex Kidd never worked as a competitor to Mario, like... His games were just never that good. Um, they were- they never rose to the level of Mario. Um, Sega- uh, or Sonic's games were way better, I think. Even the first Sonic game, you can go back and it's still very playable today, very enjoyable. I feel like- oh god. This one? Like, you could go- if- if you grew up with this, I could 100% see this being nostalgic, but... I think if you didn't... Oh my god, I got poked in the back of the head. Um, if you didn't grow up with this, I feel like you wouldn't go back to this because it just sort of feels like there's so many better games you could be playing, you know? Like, you just wouldn't spend your time playing this one. But it kind of gets overshadowed. Um, but yeah, it's sort of... I think there's two issues here that we have with Alex Kidd that... Thinking about Mario, I can relate them back to. One is inconsistency of power. In every Mario game, even going into like Mario parties and stuff, jumping on enemies is how you damage enemies. And it's very easy. It's very satisfying. There's lots of skill and control to it. It's a very, very good mechanic. Now, you know, I understand they're trying to do something different with Alex Kidd. That's why he like punches people in, uh, oh god. That's why he punches people in Alex Kidd Miracle World. But frankly, you know, I think the head jumping on mechanic is maybe Mario popularized it. I don't know if they invented it, but I think that we're at a stage in video games where just everyone can do that and it's not stealing from Nintendo. I mean, hell, Sonic can jump on enemies too, right? Um, so A, jumping on enemies, I think is a better mechanic than punching or wind or whatever the hell this kid's got going on. The fact that he's totally defenseless until you get the wind, unless I'm doing something wrong, is insane. Um, and I think is a detriment to the game. Um, oh, a giant eyeball got me. So yeah, I would like to see a, a better attack. And then I guess across the two Alex Kid games I've played so far, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of consistency in how he plays in the two games. So I think having more consistency across your games in your sequels, in terms of how your character behaves, that... Oh god, I forgot about these guys. That is just so crude, man. <laughs> what pervert did the graphics for this? Oh, it's Japanese, I forgot. Um... Yeah, so having more consistency with your character, I think, would help the franchise as a whole. I mean, other than that, like, it's it's not the worst platforming game I've ever played. I guess I'm just holding it to a higher standard, because this, this was Sega's attempt to compete with Mario. And it just feels like such a half-assed attempt. Um, or actually, no, it doesn't, it doesn't feel half-assed. Like, it feels like they tried. They were using their whole ass. It's just... 
like it looks good you know relative shoot relatively speaking like for the era it looks decent decent enough it's just um yeah the gameplay just isn't quite there oh god oh my god Maybe this is on, like, a harder mode, because I feel like I am taking way more hits than I did before. Like, these stupid puffballs. They're just running out the clock, man. Whoa, go! Oh my god, he killed me. Time's up, I guess. Hmm. Well, I think we'll call it here. I was going to do a few more levels, but the levels are getting harder, and... I'm getting less interested, so... Alex Kidd, The Lost Stars! Kind of an interesting game. I don't know, what do you guys think about it? What... Am I right? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm crazy. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one, especially if you played this one growing up and you have lots of love and nostalgia for it. Defend it! Uh, or at least just explain uh, the things that I might not have been getting right. As I said, I don't think it's necessarily a bad game. But having never played it growing up and playing it now, I feel like it does get overshadowed by some of the, the better attempts to compete with Mario, like Sonic, which was by Sega. So anyway, um, I hope you guys did have some fun with this one. I hope it brought back lots of nostalgic feels, and I will catch you in the next one. Until then, friends, peace. You screwed me again, you little punk.